Welcome to Lakshman Biology. Now we will discuss about loss of Mendel or Mendel loss. Mendel loss. Mendel did experiments on pea plants and he identified how characters, how characters transfer from generation to generation, generation to generation. He explained how characters transfer from generation to generation by working on the plant that is called as Pisum sativa. He explained how characters are transferred from one generation to another generation by the three laws. First one is called as law of dominance. Law of dominance. And second one is law of segregation. Law of dominance and another one is law of segregation. Then third one is law of independent assert. Law of independent assertment. These are the three laws which are explained by the Mendel. First two laws that is law of dominance law of segregation explained by using the mono hybridization mono hybrid cross mono hybrid cross or mono hybridization then second the third experiment that is law of independent assortment explained by dihybrid cross dihybrid cross hence we will discuss law of dominance and law of segregation now because in previous class i have explained about mono hybrid cross then in next class, I will explain about dihybrid cross. After completion of dihybrid cross, we will see about law of independent assortment. Okay. First, we will see about law of dominance. Law of dominance. Okay. See, according to law of dominance, characters. Characters controlled by factors factors these factors only units of inheritance units of inheritance actually the name given name gene is given by the johansson before johansson the mendel called gene as factor factor hence mendel told that according to law of dominance characters are controlled by factors characters controlled by factors factors occurs in a pair factors occurs in a pairs pairs factors are occurs in a pairs like uh, capital t capital t one pair capital t small t one pair small t small t one pair like that the factors occurs by pairs each one in this pair is called as allele allele these are the alleles. Two alleles are there in each pair. Okay, these are alleles. Next, if alleles are different in dissimilar, in dissimilar pair of allele, in dissimilar pair of allele means one allele is dominant, another allele is recessive. If the alleles in a dissimilar pair of pair of alleles, or if the alleles alleles are different, in the pair one allele is called as dominant allele. It will express its phenotypic character even in the presence of an alternate allele. Then another allele is called as recessive allele. It will express its phenotypic character only in the another similar allele like homozygous condition. That is about law of dominance. Here first one characters are controlled by factors. These factors are units of inheritance. Second thing factors occurs in a pair. Third thing, in a dissimilar pair of alleles, one is called as dominant, another one is called as recessive. What is the dominant? Dominant allele expresses its character 
in the F1 generation. See, when you cross the homozygous dominant genotype plant with the homozygous recessive genotype plant, we can get the heterozygous dominant plants. These are the heterozygous dominant plants. See, homozygous dominant tall, homozygous recessive dwarf. But if you observe the F1 generation, in F1 generation, there is no dwarf plant. All plants are tall only. The reason for that is because of law of dominance. In a dissimilar pair of factors, one allele that is called dominant allele, it will express its phenotypic character in the present in the F1 generation because which will express its phenotypic character in both homozygous and heterozygous condition. That is about law of dominance. Law of dominance explained by Mendel by using the monohybrid class. Next. Second law that is law of independent assortment. Law of independent assortment. Sorry, law of segregation. Second law, law of segregation. First law is law of dominant. Second law is law of segregation. Second law, law of segregation. Segregation means separation. Separation. According to this law, the alleles will not show blending. Alleles not show blending. One allele, there is a two alleles like capital T, small t, segregation of one allele independent to the segregation of another allele. Those are segregate. Segregate means separate. Not show blending means not mixing. These alleles are not mixing. Not mixing. That will show segregation. Segregation means separation. Segregation shows segregation during formation of gametes. During formation of gametes. Once again, law of segregation, it will it is also called as purity of gametes. Law of purity of gametes. Meaning of that is alleles not show any blending. Alleles will show the segregation during the formation of gametes. Because of law of segregation, the characters that we cannot see in F1 generation are visible in F2 generation. See, when you cross the tall plant with the dwarf plant in F1 generation, you can see all tall plants which contain homozygous, heterozygous dominant condition. When you cross this F1 generation plants, we will get the F2. F2 generation. In F2, we can see the formation of few homozygous dominant plants, few heterozygous dominant plants, apart from that, few homozygous recessive plants. See, if you observe the phenotype, parents are tall and dwarf. Parents are tall and dwarf, then F1 generation only tall we can see. Then again, if you see the F2 generation, we can see both tall and dwarf. There is no dwarf plant in F1 generation. Because of law of segregation, the character that we cannot observe in the F1 generation that we can see in F2 generation, that dwarf plant. The characters that we cannot see in the F1 generation, we can see in the F2 generation. That is because of law of purity of gametes or law of segregation. Based on that, we can identify that there is a dwarf character that is transmitted transmitted to the F1, F2 generation from the parental generation. That is about law of segregation. In next class, we will see about law of, sorry, dihybrid class. After that, we will see about law of independent assortment. Thank you.